in action. Um, this is my homework assignment for my health class on alcohol, and I asked uh, Sissy and Billy their experiences, and they told me the same story. So yeah, here it is. Um, I'm first going to start with Sissy's side of the story and then Billy's side of the story. Okay, <clears throat> this is Sissy, and these are this quote unquote. Okay, I went to a party with my husband Billy when I was 20 years old. It was a Halloween party, so there was alcohol and people drinking. After midnight, we left the party and started walking home on the trail. We were both extremely drunk, and after walk walking for 10 or 15 minutes, we wanted to take a break, but we ended up passing out on the side of the Iron Horse Trail after walking. Um, I woke up at around 2 in the morning, not knowing what was going on, and I then... Oh, and I didn't want to sleep in the dirt all night. So I looked around and I took Billy's jacket and phone. Then I started walking home, parentheses, not realizing I had left my husband passed out in the dirt. On my way home, I was walking in heels and I ended up falling in a ditch and not being able to get back up. I was screaming for help for a few minutes, but I ended up being able to pull myself out. I started walking down the street and I saw a car coming, so I decided it'd be a good idea to flag them down. They pulled over and started rambling on and oh, they pulled over and I started rambling on and slurring about how I needed to call my husband because he wasn't answering his phone. I wonder why. <laughs> After a couple minutes, they got tired of me, so they left. I walked all the way back home and called my mom off of Billy's phone. I kept asking her to call Billy's phone because he wasn't answering, and my mom told me I couldn't because I was calling from his phone, so I hung up. I took a shower, and then I went to bed, even though Billy still wasn't home. At about 4 in the morning, Billy walks through the door and is hysterically crying. Then we went to bed. When we woke up the next morning, we had the worst hangovers. Okay. Okay, that was, that was Sissy's story. And now here's Billy's side of the story. Ashley and I went to a party for Halloween when I was 22 years old. Everybody was drinking and having a good time. At around midnight, Ashley and I wanted to go home, so we started walking towards our house that was nearby, even though we were really drunk. We only walked for a few minutes till we wanted to sit down and take a break. Instead, we passed out on the side of the Iron Horse Trail. <clears throat> at 4 in the morning, I woke up and looked around, confused at how I got here and what was going on. I was freezing because my jacket was gone, and I was wearing a shirt that was too small for me. It was part of my costume. And my phone was missing. The worst part was that I had no idea where Ashley was. I started screaming her name and looking for her, but I couldn't find her. I started running two miles in the opposite direction of my house and ended up at the, a golf course. So I started heading back to my house, and I was on a street that was nearby where the party was. While I was walking, I slipped on a rock and face planted in the middle of the street. Right after that happened, I hear, <laughs> I hear the sound of police sirens behind me. The cop comes out and asks me if I'm okay. <laughs> At this point, I was crying and asking where Ashley was and that I needed to be, get home. So the cop took me home. When I got home, I was still crying, but then I saw Ashley, and shortly after that, I passed out. <laughs> Yay!